The commercial fishing industry is responsible for putting a lot of food on a lot of plates, but it's also responsible for a fair share of the increasingly concerning environmental crisis of marine plastic pollution, not only from ocean plastic pollution, but also land-based operations. The land-based elements of commercial fishing contribute to plastic production and consumption, and this can lead to leakage of plastics into the environment. To analyse the use of plastics across the entire supply chain of commercial fishing, researchers from Australia and New Zealand undertook a case study at one of New Zealand's commercial fin fishing companies. They aimed to identify where plastics are used and where they may leak into the marine environment, as well as the barriers to and opportunities for improvement. They found that plastics are used extensively throughout the fin fish supply chain in both land and sea-based operations. A key area of concern was polybins, a polystyrene packaging product used in shipping and packaging. They're single use, not commonly recycled, and there's no end of life accountability. Cost is a significant barrier to reducing plastic use during distribution, as this will require large scale operational shifts. But alternative delivery systems could be implemented and costs could be reduced by leveraging economies of scale, enabled by better collaboration between local fisheries and the seafood sector. With a better understanding of how the commercial fishing sector uses plastic throughout their operations, we're one step closer to a much-needed wide-scale rethink.